Today we're playing GeoGuessr and doing a no moving challenge, but we're gonna cheat. <laughs> so I wanna try and get as close to a perfect score as possible with a United Kingdom no moving map. But if I see something like a shop name, I can type that shop name into Google and we can try and work out exactly where we are. So we're not using default settings, we're changing to no move, but we can still zoom in on stuff. Basically, it's gonna be a bit up and down because some rounds might be really easy if there's a street name right in front of us, but in other rounds, there might be a bit of detective work involved. So let's just start the game and see what happens. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I wanted. What I was gonna say was I hope we don't just get put in the middle of like a rural road with no houses or anything nearby. But this is perfect because we have visual reception parking this way. New media house, reception and parking this way. So they are two different business names. And then is there anything else that we've got near us? What's that? Stoke on Trent! Excellent! So we just go to Google right now and we type in visual Stoke on Trent. The address should be the first thing that comes up. And there we go, New Media House, that's the one. There's the exact address that we need. So let's go to the maps. Let me just go ahead and zoom in. I wanna make sure that this is correct so we can go on Street View and it should take us to the same location. Yep, that is the exact same location that we spawned in on. So now we just go ahead and find Stoke on Trent. Yep, there it is. And then it's up in the north by the A500. Up in the north, A500, yep, we're about here. Down near Sandyford, back over to GeoGuessr. Where's Sandyford? Oh, it's over here, here we go. Uh, should be. Is it here? Is this the building? No, it is the next one down. Hang on. There. So it is not showing up on the map. So we would have struggled if we were trying to find this legitimately because the map isn't being very helpful. But that should be the building. This should be a perfect score, I think. Yes, look at that. Zero yards. Spot on. Unreal. Wow, I'm a genius. All it took was for me to Google the answer. Okay, let's see if we get as lucky with the next round. We need a perfect score. I think we're going to be just fine because right here in front of us, it looks like a hospital. Interserve ingenuity at work. Uh, Liverpool women's something. Let's immediately just see if we happen to be able to find this without having to search for anything. It looks like a hospital or it's something like a hospital anyway. And it is in Liverpool. Any hospitals showing up? from this distance. No, I can't immediately spot it, but you know what? I don't have to waste my time searching for it like some kind of peasant. I just type it into the internet. <laughs> Liverpool Women's Hospital. Do you think that's the one? So we found it on Google Maps. Let me just zoom in and let's whack ourselves. Where could we put ourselves? I don't see the word interserve. I would assume we'd be about there. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Interserve. We've got it. I'm on the wrong side of a car park, but this is where we are. Get me out of this car park. How have I ended up here? And I think we spawned in just there, did we not? Is that? Yep, there we go. We got it. Should be this building here, I believe. It is this building, but once again, just like the last round, doesn't actually say Liverpool Women's Hospital like it does when we look at it over on the map. See, we're in the same area, but there's no marking for it. But I think we are about here. Let me just look at the roundabout. Yeah, we're pretty much on the roundabout. So actually, we're there then in that case, aren't we? I was nearly the wrong way for a second. That could have cost us a point. Okay, I think that's should be a perfect score. It is a perfect score. Excellent. All right, let's play the next one. Are you up? Oh, <laughs> GeoGuessr knew what I was up to. GeoGuessr was thinking this doesn't look like Jack's general scores and they've hit me with the exact thing that I said would do me in and we've been plonked with no clues really. Somewhere very flat but there's no signs. There's nothing to Google. What on earth would we type in? I'm trying to search around desperately for something on the horizon of no. We've got this kind of big chimney thing but what am I going to type in for that? It's that over there as well. That's something. That's a very, very large farm complex of some sort. Any kind of clues? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this because there's just a lot of areas of the UK that this could be. So much of the UK is just farmland. Oh, no. This is the only thing we've got near us. This little fella that's just waiting for the Google car to get past. Do we have any clues with the Google car? No, we can't see it. It's being completely masked out. I wonder if a GeoGuessr player that was smarter than me would be able to work out where this is. We could search farm countryside large chimney <laughs> let's try that farm countryside large chimney <laughs> Rounds Chimneys Farm. That could be it. You never know. I want to see it from the outside. Where's the big chimney? Is those the chimneys? Because if they're the chimneys, I'm not interested. Well, it's a nice spot though. So how much does it cost us? Seven nights. We could get it for a thousand pound. Oh, that's quite steep. But oh, it does have a pool table to be fair. I feel I'm getting distracted. I don't think this is the same place. All right. This is probably not going to work, but I'm going to take a screenshot of that right there. And then I'm going to search this into Google because you never know. Visually similar images. So you see what I mean? Look at that. When you look at that image, 
image. And then you look at this. It's quite similar. But it's not the same, but it is similar. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on, hang on. What's this? So what's that called? Because that's kind of what it is I'm looking at. It's a disused tower mill in Butterwick. All right, I don't think we're going to get it, but this is nice and similar looking. This is in, I think it was called Butterwick. So we can always search Butterwick anyway. See, when you look at the terrain, it's really, really flat. So we might be somewhere near Butterwick. And I'm just thinking if there was a tower mill in this part of Butterwick, maybe there's a tower mill in this part of Butterwick as well, because they're all agriculturing the same kind of thing. So they require the same stuff historically. Okay, I've searched Butterwick and unfortunately there are multiple Butterwicks, but this looks like the right kind of area. Let me whack myself there. Yeah, see, look how nice and big and flat this is. It feels similar. You know what I mean? It feels like the same kind of area, doesn't it? What's the road look like back on GeoGuessr? Oh, it's a much smaller road. It's a way thinner one. It's just single file. And if that's the case, let's stay off this road and let's plonk ourselves like there, for example. Oh, see, look at that. Look how similar it is. What's this house doing here? We don't want to see that. But the road is the right kind of road now, which you can see. Oh, it feels so similar. It feels like we're close, but I'm sure there are loads of areas of the UK that look like this. Shall we just plonk ourselves down? I think we should. Okay, so we want to be like down here. There's Butterwick. So we are going to plonk ourselves. Let's go there. Why not? Maybe we'll be close. Maybe we'll be nowhere near. Guess. We were. Oh my god. We were three miles away. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with that. From googling tower mills and stuff, we ended up in the right area of the UK. I'm so pleased with that. I said it looked similar. There we go. We were on Sea Lane. So Butterwick was down here. That's what we found from googling stuff. And I put myself a little bit further up just because I assumed the area would be similar. But we were actually over here. That's so cool. As if we were 3.6 miles away. That's all right, that. Let's play the next one. Oh no. I don't have the energy to do that detective work a second time. So we can't move anywhere. Don't forget that. That's what makes this particularly challenging. But this time, I mean, what am I going to type into Google? Wall. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going to get much back from that. It's a nice spot wherever it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this stone. Because <laughs> you get like Yorkshire stone and that kind of thing. So I'm thinking you never know. Something might pop up. But if not, let's not spend too much time on this round. Okay, let's search Google for this image. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not really worked. Visually similar images. None of these are bricks. So I think this could be a dead end, this one. Let's just guess for this one. We're going to kind of throw it on round four, but statistically round five should be an easy one again. We should be back on to somewhere more urban. Yeah, this place doesn't seem to have much going on. Yes, let's go here. Let's plonk ourselves here. Why not? That could work. This could be where those houses are. Look, there is a house. You see it? Why not? And guess. Nah, so we weren't really anywhere near there. This time we were down in Bridgewater, Exeter, that kind of area. Okay, not sure how anyone could have got much better that time. Final GeoGuessr cheat. Yes. This looks like it could be a challenge, but it looks possible. So we've got an M&S and then no other signs. Now, obviously, if we Google M&S, all we get is M&S. There's too many M&Ss, whereas that round one, that was probably the only company with that name in the country. What do we do here then? Okay, so it's a shopping center. It kind of looks a bit like the Metro Center shopping center, but I don't know. We've got a McDonald's and we've got a number 11 car park. Maybe that's something to Google, to be fair. You know what? Looking at the houses over there, this could be the Metro Center in there. Uh, Gateshead. What's that say? It's parking and I can't read the word, unfortunately. So first thing we could do, I suppose, is search for the Metro Center and double check they've got an M&S. Okay, there is one. Ooh, it looks kind of enclosed and I don't see a McDonald's anywhere. Just to see if it looks kind of similar, let's put ourselves on Google Maps. No, it's not the right kind of thing, is it? What we can do is we can have a look through the car park and see if the numbers match the same kind of numbers because you can see there's a six there and it's yellow. What's ours? It's 11 and it's green and it's a different style. You see it's only one pole as opposed to two. I don't think this is the Metro Center. Okay, we can't give up. We have to make up for the last round. So let's try Marks and Spencer Shopping Center locations. Okay, so we've got Meadow Hall, which is kind of near to me. That's what's popped up first. Maybe that's why I find this area familiar. So let's have a look at that on the map. Hey, you never know. This could work because there is a busy road right there. Let's see. No, it's not the same, is it? It is not the same. Oh, it's good, but it's not the one. Meadow Hall's car park's way more indoor. Oh, no, it's not right. I'm back at the Metro Center in Gateshead. I just want to do a circle of the area just because I want to see if maybe the signs are different. <laughs> Let's go down here instead and see if anything looks different. This looks like the right kind of area, to be fair. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. There's an M&S. Wait, I have found it. That's the same, isn't it? We're just down the road. Yeah, we have found it. It was the Metro Center. I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, that's right. We're here. <laughs> so we are currently plonked right there before this corner. I think we need to be there, but I just want to confirm 100% because we do need our perfect score. I don't know what's just happened. <laughs> so we need to go up to Newcastle and then to Gateshead. And I can feel a sneeze coming on. 
<laughs> okay, there's the metro center. So guessing we're about there. So we've got a tiny little blue stream here So let's put ourselves parallel to that and see if we're in the right spot. We are not we need to be further down We need to be like here. So presumably we're about there then I guess So let's count the stalls from this line one two three and we will go there. Is that right? Uh, No, nope. we'll go in between the two lines move that lines as well It's just putting us in the same location each time So with that being said I am gonna plonk myself about where I am and it might end up a four nine 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 Okay, but hopefully it doesn't shall we try it? Yes, we shall guess it was a four nine nine eight that annoys me I'm sad about that one. I played around on Google Maps for ages there and and I'm sure it kept just plunking me in the same location. I was counting the rows and everything. But no problem, because in the end... Oh, we got a badge. And we got a bloody medal. That's incredible. In the end, that was quite good. We kind of screwed up here with that round where there was just nothing to cheat. But on the cheating rounds, I'm actually really, really pleased. We managed to get particularly close. And don't forget that completely, really rural Butterwick one. Where we end up three miles away. I'm actually buzzing about that. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like if you want to see more GeoGuessr over on Jack Sucks and stuff. Because I think potentially this is the best place for it. Do subscribe just in case you have not already and I will see you all later.